Hey guys, I want to do a quick demonstration of my two new toys. Uh, after re-outfitting the 07 EXT, my really, really old truck that's like really old, 2007, 189,000 miles. I'll put a quick video together of that, how I refreshed this truck, did redid the suspension and everything. Uh, from you car guys that follow my channel, and then for the motorcycle guys that follow my channel, this is the new. This is my refreshed truck that I'm going to use to haul the R1250 GSA around. Uh, I want to do some rides out in the West Coast and the East Coast, but I want to skip all that highway driving. Um, so I got myself a Scorpion ramp. Uh, these ramps are made in the USA. It's a 10 foot wide by 48 inches long ramp. Um, it's really cool. I like the footprint and it's pretty light. I'm five foot four. I'm 140 pounds, and I can still pick this up myself. Uh, in the back of the truck, I have it outfitted with a Black Widow motorcycle truck, and it doesn't need to be drilled into the bed of the truck. It basically uses two arms that kind of, you just kind of push them out and they seat inside the truck and push against the walls of the truck. Um, it's not very, it's not too secure, but I don't really, that's not what I really need it for. I just need it to stand the motorcycle up really, and I'll tie it down with straps. Anyway, enough of the talking. Let's do this first demo. I'm a little nervous. I'm doing this myself. Um, this is a short bed truck. It's a Cadillac Escalade EXT short bed truck, so the tailgate will have to be left down. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna reposition the camera. Back here. the straps down. Wish me luck. Whew, nervous.
honestly, I'm a little scared to ride this up. Um, I think I'm gonna walk up. that have done that before that was frightening and I have no idea how I'm gonna get that downstairs I mean down from the truck but it's actually frightening uh, but you can see the R1250 is on the bed of the truck uh, I'm gonna kind of move the ramp and show you guys what it looks like that was scary So my plan would be to store the ramp when I travel in the back of the truck because you can see there's no space there. So let me move the camera and show you guys. So on the EX Cadillac EXT, this, this seat folds down and becomes like a plastic bed. And you would see, obviously, I would have to, sorry about the camera movement, I would have to uh, tie it down with some ratchet straps, probably tied to the back here with some straps, and then I could put my luggage and other stuff I want to put in here. Um, it does take a lot of, kind of a lot of space, but I mean, that's the only way. So let me show you an up close. You can see how the truck is weighted down. Um, it's, like I said, it's a short bed truck. It's a very short bed truck, so this is a good compare. Like it kind of gives you a good idea if you owners have a short bed truck. Uh, the, the suspension is sagging a lot, so let me turn the car on. Uh, the Avalanche and EXTs are using coil springs, not leaf springs. I think it's one of the only few trucks out there that did. Um, so it should raise this rear. Let's see. right now it's kind of it's kind of like the r1250 gs suspension of the preload um it's cool that these trucks had it i don't think any newer truck i don't know you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think this, the silverado uses leaf springs so it doesn't have the air ride shocks i believe so i'm not quite sure correct me if i'm wrong but you can see the s is lifting itself up so it, it now it's not as low Come and um but this is what it looks like so give you guys an idea this is a short bed truck this is an R1250 GSA on a short bed truck. Sorry, my, I don't have a... 
a stabilizer with me right now for my camera. Shoot, let me just do this. R1250 GSA on the back of a 20, 2007 Cadillac Escalade EXT. This would be the same configuration and look as a 2007 to 2014 Chevy Avalanche. You know, the funny thing about this is that <laughs> the bike is worth more than the truck, a lot more than the truck right now. It's such an old truck, but uh, you know, I've put brand new things on it, so. Um, Looks good. Uh, maybe uh, I should have to tie it down. Um, the tailgate should hold. I double checked the weight rating for that, so it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, right now, I'm a little bit nervous about getting it down, so let's uh, work on getting it down now. All right, so getting it down, this is the fun part. Use your use first gear to control your descent. Take your time. <clears throat> and that, my friends, is how you load and unload an R1250 GSA on a short bed truck with a Scorpion ramp and a Black Widow motorcycle chalk. Remember guys, I'm five foot four. I'm that short guy. Just keep at it, man. You can do it, so I'm out.